Hey guys, this is Frenzy, and welcome back to Mighty Quest. Um, so today I'm going to be going over the 135 defense. As you can see, I haven't had much time to make videos. I have to do 135, 155, and then I have to set up my dungeon for my 175. As you can see, it's already unlocked. So I really got to get these videos going. Um, so I'll be jumping into what my defense kind of looked like at that time, and then I'll jump into some replays and show you um, how it kind of worked. So basically, this is my favorite room. You have the puller here, who isn't leveled up at all. I think he might be level 2, but he's not all that effective, but it's still a decent design. You have this derp that's going to be aggroing through the wall here. This puller is going to be trying to pull the uh, hero as he enters this room. They won't be able to actually see the puller, but the hook is slow enough where they might be able to dodge it. If they do get hooked, they're going to get hooked into this fire trap and take damage from these three archers, so that's some pretty good DPS there. Um, then you can see these two derps are going to aggro these mobs. As you can see, I placed a lot of archers and uh, robotrons on the 135 defense level. That's because you unlock the research to go up ranks in these two units um, during that. So it's it's reasonable to place those in. Then you can see sometimes when uh, they aggro these mobs, they'll run back down towards this way because they'll run in to kill these derps. These guys will kind of flank from there, and they might run down and actually aggro this Squiddy, which in turn aggros this uh, Cyclops and these three archers. So it does a little bit of extra damage if they end up doing that. Either way, it's still a good room. This Cyclops is set to charge, three archers down from the hallway. Um, I just have a lot of these fire traps because they do decent damage. And now we have another fire trap. This is actually a recent addition, this uh, puller in here. I used to just have four archers, and I and this guy to uh, buff attack speed and then just someone to aggro. Um, so the puller is a little bit of a recent addition. I don't even think I've tested it yet. But then we have this, which is also a little bit changed from where I was at 115, or 135, excuse me. Um, I had a, one, a Dr. Skull at 135. He really loses his effectiveness around this level. Um, the 9, 10, and 11 range, they really start to lose their effectiveness, so you, so you want to get rid of those Dr. Skulls. Um... So these Cyclopses are just to push people back into this mousetrap and then two archers for DPS. This is pretty similar, I believe, to what I used before. We have six archers, two Robotrons, and just because, like I said, they got leveled up. So let's go into some replays and check this out. Uh, down in here, and as you can see, I've lost quite a bit in these last couple days, but that's why I'm doing a complete renovation at 175. Um, this is where I started off, so we'll start watching these ones. As you can see, I do have a few wins here and there. And if you'll notice, a lot of these people are very high level for where my dungeon's at, and where it was previously during um, this attack. My dungeon was either 9 or 10 back at the 135 stage, so... Uh, let's hop in to just a couple replays. Maybe two losses and two wins or something like that. Um, so... This should be a similar setup to what I just showed you. So this is just an added room that I didn't really show because it's already set up for the 155 and I didn't really want to get into that during this video. Um, I'll do a follow-up video for 155 in a second. So as you can see, this guy kind of gets lost in this room. He just needs to go down, but he's running around for no reason. I should have slow traps in here, and I do now, um, but back then I didn't. So. so as we can see, here comes the hook, and it lands. Three shots from the archer. He's down to 400 health. Really good combo. And uh, he's already having a tough time. If he had high potions, he would be able to just kind of heal this off and just use potions, which a lot of people have been doing to me recently. Um, it's really important that you know you upgrade your units pretty quickly during this stage because the potions start to get so much that you really need stuns on top of all of this. These uh, Cyclops, once they're upgraded, can actually stun and not just knock back. But you can see he's taking a lot of damage from these archers, getting knocked back here. And I believe he does, like I said, aggro that Squiddy as he's coming back. It's uh, Squidly, yeah. So, just gets killed right there. Pretty easy. And pretty straightforward. That's pretty much exactly how my defense is supposed to go. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, so this guy actually hits my dungeon twice. The first time he gets killed. The second time he actually plays amazingly. And I'll definitely go through that replay as well. Because um, this guy is actually at my dungeon level, so technically I don't want him beating me. This is like a straight up win if he wins. Um, like a, just a straight up, I'm going to beat you kind of thing. The fact that it took him two tries is a little bit better for me, but still I shouldn't be losing to the same level heroes. Or at least I don't want to be losing. 
So he dodges all of the barges, dodges the pole. That's kind of the worst case scenario for this room. He doesn't really take almost any damage at all. He's actually full health after the room. So definitely not a good spot to be in. He dodges the pole, takes some damage here though, and ends up getting knocked back by the Cyclops into the range of this. Three archer shots, and he's down. So that's kind of how quickly the DPS can add up from those archers if someone's at your level. So because we just watched him, we'll skip over this warrior for a second and watch when he actually does sack me. You can see he gets a ton of resources here. Um, we kind of just trade off with crowns because we're even level. But uh, he gets a ton of resources because he is my level. So, And I believe I was maxed on resources during this time. So he kind of knows my setup, at least half of it. So he should be able to dodge this pretty easily coming up, but that's only because stuns don't actually, like, kick in, I guess. So he knows this pull is coming, he shouldn't get hit by it, he dodges that, dodges all three shots. Really good. And he pretty much just goes through and dodges almost everything. And, I mean, that's kind of why you need those uh, stuns coming off of, like, that Cyclops and stuff like that. Um, this room, I, I'm like I said, I'm going to do a complete renovation because I don't really like this room anymore. There's too many little like chokes that they can kite back from. And uh, I kind of want to just overall make my dungeon less open, I guess. So I'm going to be changing out a lot of my rooms. Something that I've been needing to do for a while. Um, so he took take barely any damage here. I'm not even sure if this guy uses a potion during this entire one. He may have used one during that, he may not have. I'm not exactly sure. And this is where he doesn't really know what's happening, but he saw the little laser beams coming out for headshots. So he doesn't take any damage from the archers, really. Takes a little bit of damage from this fire trap, but still, he's in a good spot going into the um, this mob. Like I said, I had a Dr. Skull here. I removed him recently. Um, because, like you can see, he's just not really pulling his weight at this level. Your DPS gets up so high that the Dr. Skull and the minions that he spawns just don't really do work for you anymore. Um, I had a Dr. Skull here as well. I believe I changed this mid-115, or 135. So, I've also been messing around with the Defenditron using his aura and his shield. I think the aura is better. I've been using that more and more recently. Like, this is one of the first people who has actually made it to my boss room at the 135 level, so I made a couple changes afterwards. And he pretty much just straightforward cleans it out. And really didn't have to use that many potions. One, or maybe even zero. So, gets a ton of gold from me. And yeah, makes it through. Alright, so let's watch... Hmm... Trying to think exactly where it starts. Alright, so let's watch this wizard who also looted me during the same time. He said epic. Let's see how he does. He's also level 14, so he technically should make it through my dungeon pretty easily. I believe he's four levels over um, at this point. Maybe three. No, definitely four. Because right now I'm at uh, uh, dungeon level 11. He even gets uh, epic during that. Maybe that's why he said epic. I'm not exactly sure. So does he get pulled? Does he get pulled? No, he doesn't. He does, but it's not exactly how I want it set up. He already had killed most of the DPS in the room. Alright. Not really taking much damage at all. Although he did just use a potion, you can see the cooldown going. So, he used at least one potion. That's always a win, I guess. In my book, if you can make someone use a potion, at least at this level, it's got to be a win for you, because a lot of the time, if people use potions freely, they won't really die in your dungeon at this level. Just because the stuns aren't good enough to like keep you away from using potions. You have to have at least a, like a ton of DPS, or something to stop them from using potions. It's being really careful around these traps. And yeah, like I said, that puller, again, not in this room. I had four archers instead. I was noticing that people were able to dodge it a little bit easier, so I wanted to try to use the pole. Still not sure if I want to keep that like that, but I'm going to be doing the whole renovation, so not too big of a deal. So against this guy, I guess the Dr. Skull, do Skull is doing a reasonable job, but 
I still don't like it. I won't be using Dr. Skulls pretty much at all, I think, unless they get changed in some way. They just seem to not scale well with uh, the mid to late stages, I guess. Alright, so is he going to take any damage from my boss room? That's what I really want to know. So yeah, there you can see I switched over to the aura. He took one shot, but the archers are all still alive, so... And he ends up dodging that really well. And yeah, he just kind of gets through it, so... You know, definitely there's some things that could be changed um, throughout this this dungeon level. It gets you like kind of half and half kills and loots, I guess. But this guy is level 14, so what can you really expect? All right, and we'll do one more, I suppose, um, with me winning against a level 14, and I took 40 crowns from this guy. So that kind of makes up for pretty much all of these losses. Um, at least in terms of crowns. Obviously I lost a little bit of loot, but I'm also looting people during the process, so... That's kind of to be expected. If you can keep positive on crowns, it means your, win your dungeon is a winning dungeon, you know? Or castle. Um, actually... This might be a 155 uh, replay, because there's units in this area. It's not my fully functional 155. It must have been just something that I threw in temporarily because I didn't have much time, but he does get pulled by that. Bunch of damage, as you can see. Even against a, a, a level 14, that combo takes people to half-life, so really good. And three shots. Good damage. So most of this stuff is still the same, uh, like 135 defense. And those archers just shoot from so far away. That's the only good part about this long corridor here. Is you don't really see the shots coming. They just kind of come out of nowhere and hit you. Especially why you like to build your dungeon towards the south is because like there's just that little less reaction time using, using this like skill bar kind of as a tool for you to defend. And there you go. He gets hit again from all the way down there and one shot. So with that I guess that's gonna end uh, the video. Definitely some things that you can be thinking about and kind of changing up with your own dungeon but that gives you kind of a base layout. Definitely take advantage of the archers. Cyclopses are okay but I do like the Defenditrons as well uh, just because they get an upgrade as well along with those archers. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll be following up with a 155 defense video um, shortly after. So thank you for watching and see you later.